Welcome everybody to another update. As you can see, it took me a long time to get this snow off. Um, knocked a few things off as well while I was doing it. Managed to actually damage one of my aeroplanes. So I've still got to glue. I also got very irritated with these telegraph poles because I've never really been happy with the amount of glue I used on them. So I've taken them off and I'm replacing them with um, something a bit more sturdy, which I've now got ready to glue on, but I want to put them on a bit later on now. Um, I got most of the stuff as you can see from here. There's still some touching up to do, a lot of cleaning of tracks and things like that, and I've still got to replace the point. But it looks at least a bit more like um, a better weather version of the camp. I've got a few more soldiers to put in place as well. I'm going to get around to it and touching up some of the others. I'm replacing the crane that was at the front there as well. Um, I've bought a more substantial one to put in place, so I'm about to do that. And then I'm going to tell you about some other projects, including where, what they're for. I found and bought this amazing centenary collector set from REE, which is a French maker. It had these three american military army actually wagons from world war one um and the three different shapes they're all brought to france flat pack from the united states and assembled in two big rail yards in france that took a long time so eventually um they decided to bring them over more whole particularly the locomotives because they were supposed to take three weeks but they took much longer so they came ready to steam in the end um one of the pictures i've got with the booklet that came showed them with American artillery so these are 75 millimeter guns uh, and I'm probably going to display them with those in them when they do the HO so I'm going to display them with an HO locomotive rather than an OO locomotive uh, and this is the locomotive I've got to do it it's a Pershing 280 Baldwin uh, made to, for World War One and brought over to France this is the original spec but some things changed so this is how the uh, two remaining models look in the USA today almost identical to that model but the uh, western front model changed so this is them coming over and being assembled in France they're black at the front with grey USA models but they did make some to go to the rod which were all black and that's a rod example exactly the same specification um, but they were black and the American ones were grey I'm going to do the American one because it's going to pull the stuff this is showing the rod in 1939 uh, in French service and you see the tender is still the same but different from the model and that's the grey colouring I'm going to do with the USA lettering on the side of it. Now there's some changes I've got to make and this is highlighting them. The bow has got to come off the front, the lamp's got to come off the front, the steps have got to be removed in place of support, um, it's going to need to have different buffers and the tender's not quite right as you can see that bit of the tender dips down at the back and the actual model didn't and I can't find one yet that's going to replace that. Okay so I bought two more 009 locomotives. I bought this Baldwin that was used by the War Department similar to one I've already got but a slightly different shade and different numbering and because the, op the Americans were responsible for narrow gauge in the area the hospital worked at I thought it'd be nice to have one of the American Baldwin locomotives because I've got some photographs from September 1917 course one's 009 and one's HOE so they are a slightly different size so I'll have run them probably on the layout at different times rather than together not a lot of difference in size but there is some and just lastly these are the telegraph poles they're a bit more rigid and slightly better quality and already got the white um, caps for the wires to go on to and this is the crane that I've got to replace the one that I had on it's a bit more substantial the other one was very flexible and um, got snapped very easily although this one could get snapped as well I've got to be careful but that's going on the layout and for the American US artillery I bought this pack I actually didn't read that it got four in it and bought four packs so it took 16 guns so I'll use them somewhere else on the static layout so as a bit of a teaser this is the last thing I'm going to do these three were all going to be part of the next film and they're part of a conversion into something I'm making two versions of this particular train there was actually six um, wagons in the the original trains but I can only fit three on and this will be part of it too and I'm going to do some wheels and respraying and modeling to do that so that's coming next <laughs> 